for electrical and electronics engineering related educational content you can visit this website electrical-engineering.app the link of this website is in the bio of this channel also you will get the website link in the video description in this video we will see a problem on superposition theorem question find out the current through 6 ohm resistor using superposition theorem from figure shown now here we have to find the current through this 6 ohm resistor by using superposition theorem solution first of all what we will do we will take this circuit from here now let's paste it here now we have to find by using superposition theorem now as we can see there are multiple sources here so what we will do first we will consider 7 volt voltage source so step number one is to consider 7 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources turn off all other sources now when we turn off all other sources that means we have to turn off this voltage source and when we turn off a voltage source that time we have to replace it by short circuit when we replace a voltage source that time we have to replace it by short circuit and when we turn off a current source that time we have to replace it by open circuit now here as we can see the positive terminal is here so the direction of current will be like this now let's say this is current i1 but we have to find this current now let's say this current is current i prime now let's find the value of i prime by using current division rule so here we will apply current division rule let's write here by using current division rule by using current division rule so i prime is equal to this current i1 multiplied with opposite branch resistance now here opposite branch or parallel branch to this 6 ohm resistor is this 2 ohm so it will be 2 ohm divided by 2 plus the same resistance that is 6 ohm now here we don't know the value of this current i1 so first we have to find the value of this current i1 so current i1 will be equal to voltage divided by resistance now here the value of voltage is 7 volt 7 volt divided by resistance now here we have to take its total resistance of this circuit now here we can see this 2 ohm is in series with so here we can write 2 ohm is in series with 6 ohm parallel with 2 ohm so it will be 6 into 2 divided by 6 plus 2 so therefore current i1 will be equal to 7 divided by 2 plus 6 into 2 divided by 6 plus 2 now it is equal to 2 ampere so let's put this 2 ampere here so therefore i prime will be equal to 2 into 2 divided by 2 plus 6 so therefore i prime is equal to let's solve this 2 into 2 divided by 2 plus 6 so it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 ampere and the direction is upward so the direction is like this upward now we have found the value for i prime now step number two we have to find 
the current caused by this 5 volt voltage source. So, step number 2 consider 5 volt voltage source and turn off all other sources. Turn off all other sources. Now, when we turn off this 7 volt voltage source, that time we have to replace it by short circuit. Now, as we can see here, the polarity, positive polarity is here. So, the direction of current will be like this. Let's say this is current I2. Now, this is current I double prime. Now, here we will apply current division rule. So, by using by using current division rule, we can find the value of I double prime. So, I double prime will be equal to now this time we have to take this current I2 multiplied with opposite branch resistance. Now, again here the opposite or parallel branch to this 6 ohm is this 2 ohm. So, it will be 2 ohm divided by 2 plus 6. Now, again we do not know the value of this current I2. So, here we can write I2 is equal to voltage divided by resistance. Now, here the value of voltage is 5 volt divided by resistance value here as we can see this 2 ohm is in series with this 6 ohm parallel with 2 ohm. So, it will be 2 plus 6 into 2 divided by 6 plus 2. This 2 ohm is in series then these two are in parallel. Now, if we solve this we get 5 divided by 2 plus 6 into 2 divided by 6 plus 2. So, it is 10 by 7. So, here we can write 10 divided by 7 ampere. Now, let us put this value here. So, we get the value of I double prime. So, I double prime will be equal to 10 divided by 7 multiplied with 2 divided by 2 plus 6. So, therefore, I double prime is equal to 10 divided by 7 multiplied with 2 divided by 2 plus 6. So, it is 5 by 14. 5 divided by 14 ampere. 10 by 7 multiplied with 2 divided by 2 plus 6 and that is 5 by 14 ampere. Now, here the direction of this current is downward. So, the direction is downward. Now, we have found the value of I prime and I double prime that is the current caused by 7 volt and the current caused by 5 volt. Now, what we will do? We will combine them because we have to find the current through this 6 ohm resistance. So, here we can write I 6 ohm. Now, as we can see the direction of I double prime is downward and the direction of I prime is upward. So, what we will do? We will subtract them. So, for subtracting we will check which one is bigger. Now, here it is 0 0.5 ampere and here it is 5 by 14. So, 5 by 14 is 0 0.35 that means this is smaller and this is bigger. So, we have to subtract bigger minus smaller that is I prime. So, we have to subtract I prime minus I double prime. The value of I prime is 0 0.5 ampere. 
जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम पी एर माइनस आई डबल प्राइम वैल्यू इज फाइव बाई फोर्टीन सो दिस विल बी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव माइनस फाइव बाई फोर्टीन सो इट इज वन बाय सेवन एम पी एर और वी कैन राइट इट इज दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट एंसर प्रिसाइज एंसर और वी कैन से इट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर टू जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर टू एम पी एर सो दिस इज द करंट थ्रू सिक्स ओम रेजिस्टेंस आई सिक्स ओम एंड नाउ द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस करंट विल बी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस करंट आई प्राइम द डायरेक्शन ऑफ आई प्राइम इज अपवर्ड सो हियर ऑल्सो द डायरेक्शन विल बी अपवर्ड लाइक दिस सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ करंट बाई यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन थेरम डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग